Hey, this is Jerry from Blitz Studio, and in this edition of the Unity Pro Builder tutorial series, we are gonna take a look at the new shape tool. And if you're ready to get started, let's go. So here we're back in Unity, and we're gonna continue our exploration of the Pro Builder 3D modeling tool that's built into Unity. In my previous demo, I kind of went over some of the basic options that are there. Let's go a little more in depth with the new shape. Okay, so I'm gonna select new shape. And again, there's several different ways for us to select a new shape. We can either click the new shape tool or I can right click and choose Pro Builder and then one of those options. So these are the same options that are here, but if I click on new shape, it gives me this extra dialog box that allows me to choose more options. So if you want something really quick, you can just select the Pro Builder and then one of those starter options. If you want to do something more specific, then use the new shape tool. Okay, so I have the new shape tool selected and I'll just go through a few of these options. So if we choose an arch, so if I select a beginning point and then I'm gonna click and then drag. So that's given me the X and the Z values of what this arch is gonna be. And then if I let go, it's going to extrude it and give me a height or a Y value, okay? Now, while this is still up, I can select and choose some of the different settings. So how thick this arch is, how many sides does it have, which will make it more smooth, uh, what the circumference is. So currently it's at 180, but I can make that a full 360 if I want. And then how that's going to look, and of course if I change the Y value or any of the other values, it's going to change that shape as well. Um, if I have end caps or not. So let's go back and back to my 180 circumference and I'll take this back down to something that's a little more normal for an arch. Um, the, the end caps are if there's end caps on the bottom. So if this is an arch, and then we want to potentially extrude this to make it a more of a door frame kind of arch. Let's go ahead and select faces. And then if I hold down the shift key, I can extrude out that shape to make it more of like a doorway arch. Now, of course, if this is touching the ground, we wouldn't really need these extra two faces on the bottom. So the option for that arch is, do we, need, do we need those end caps or not? Okay, so that's what that, was, that is. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and delete that arch. And then let's go back and click new shape again. And then cone, let's go ahead and just drag out a cone so we can see what that looks like. And then extrude that up and you can see how many faces are there, uh, what that shape is. We can choose where the center point is, so that where the pivot point is, it's either in the center of the game object or if we want to have that at the first corner. So that gives us a few options. And then this cone uh, setting, we can choose how many sides there are. I like using the cone and setting it to four sides, personally, and I use that for a spike in a game. And I'll have that where it, it kind of you know, comes up out of the ground as a, an obstacle. Then we have some other options. Let's go ahead and click on new shape again. We've got the cube, the cylinder. We've got the, an option for a door frame. So what that looks like, uh, a pipe. So this is kind of cool. So what that looks like, and we can extrude that out. Great, great way to have some very simple objects that you can use to build out different uh, aspects of your game. So this one is a prism. So this would be a, a great way to use to develop a gable on a house, a sphere, and then we can also add a sprite. A staircase would be another cool thing that we can do. So we can add a staircase in there and what how high that's going to be. Let's get rid of this prism. And the cool thing is we can then take the stair and we can change the circumference, which, was, which will make it a curved staircase. So we can do some really cool stuff with that. So going up a tower 
uh, the inside of a tower or something. Let's do that real quick. Let's go ahead and just make a tower. So I'm gonna create a cylinder and let's go ahead and bring that out as well. And then I'm gonna go ahead and extrude it and I'm gonna change the number of faces here. Let's increase the number of sides and that I think works. And then I'm gonna take the cylinder shape and I'm gonna flip the normals. So the skin that's currently facing out, we're gonna face it on the inside. So let's go ahead and flip normals. So now we're seeing the inside of the shape instead of the outside. Now, of course, we wanna have this so where it's kind of where that staircase would be. And then of course we could, we would be on the inside of that environment. Of course, we could change what this looks like. So there's a lot of really cool stuff that you can do, and this is a great way to start building an environment or 3D game objects for your game. Hey, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial, and there will be more coming up of the Unity Pro Builder tutorial series. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and that little bell icon down there so you know when the next tutorial is available. Until next time, peace.